Go ahead and flip over to it. Woo! Look at us! We're living in cool. a beautiful uh, place. So here we are on the island in the Sea of Nern. And what we're going to do today is we are going to conquer that fortress over there. But am I allowed to say that we're going to make this interactive? That these guys yeah, are going to jump votes. in and vote and mm -hmm. actually choose how it is that we go about uh, taking down this fortress. So we're just up on uh, one of the seeing stone towers here, looking out over the region. Um, that's an outpost over to the right. So these are different outposts, like the strongholds we would have had in the open world in Shadow of Mordor. So there's a whole open world, obviously, here to explore, hunt down orcs, play the story, go after the collectibles, craft your gear. Um, but today, we're just going to initially focus on the fortress. So let's go. All right, let's uh, actually go for a walk through this point up to the Fortress Assault. So take our time. I mean, punch an orc or two if they get in your way. Oh, yeah, just over on the left here as well. Oh. If you just have a quick look, just to the left, just we can look through the, um, maybe we'll just go for a little view, the forest. So we've also done a lot with the, the vegetation through the whole region. So um, there's a whole bunch of things we could explore and story. Oh, look out. <laughs> get out of it. Down, um, through the forest. So yeah, we've really done a lot with the, the vegetation, the wildlife that's down there, um, the missions we can pursue. But we will stay on target for the fortress. Stay on here. target. Stay on target. Okay, gotta do. Gotta do those references. So uh, anyway, that was the um, Celebrimbor hammer and then flurry strike with the final with a whap, right? Like yeah, to follow through. And so um, one of the upgrades we've done is you can now use ice as a part of your uh, sort of combat repertoire with the Bright Lord and with right. the hammer and so on as well. Right, right. You can see an orc is actually emerging out of the little <laughs> latrine over there. So. Why? Orc's got to poop. Yep. Makes sense. Actually, as we come through the outpost as well, as well as the fortresses, um, depending on which tribe is in charge of the region, that'll actually affect what orcs we can meet here uh -huh. or, you know, how it's decorated as well. Little rats running around. You can actually use those guys for health, the rats, too. Drain the rat? Oh! Yeah. Drain the rat is a common Mordor saying. <laughs> meaning any number of things. So we can see the banner <laughs> there. To say. We're going after, this is a warmonger um, fortress. You can see those huge axes they've de decorated their towers with. And the banner's here. Something else that's actually quite cool. Oh, this is another move. I love this one. Once you've um, got them down on the ground, you can go into sort of a flurry of blows as right. a Grimble to finish them off. Another thing. Actually, if you just look back up at the outpost we're at, see if you can drop those. Um, oh, drop the, the wood? There was the wood there as yeah. well. So we've got different opportunities in the environment to affect the enemy. Uh, oh, is anyone under it? No one's under it at the moment, but we can show it <laughs> off anyway. Uh, apparently my grandmother is watching. Hi, Mimi. Nice <laughs> to see you. Hello, Jared's grandma. <laughs> this is Mike. He's a great guy. Hey. All right, so I see a couple of you guys are bringing up that you're sorry about the rat dying. Oh, it's this okay. is a treasure orb. Oh, the treasure orb? Yeah, yeah. So you take this guy out. This is really handy. So he's actually dropped um, a, la a labeling elemental class of gem. And the gems you can use to slot into your weapons and armor to give them additional upgrades and stats. And the red ones are generally, it's a warrior gem. Right. So they're going to help with mostly your, your attacking stats. Awesome. Can we uh, slot it in? Yeah, sure. So we'll start lock. Slot. So as a, before we jump in, as a heads up to everybody who's talking about audio, we'll be dropping the audio back down to a certain level when we hit the arm, or excuse me, when we actually start the Fortress Assault, because it's very loud, right, when you start Fortress Assaults. So uh, just so you guys are aware, we'll keep moving the audio up now as you guys are responding to it, but uh, we will push it back at one point because we want you guys to hear what we have to say, so. Especially your Nana. Oh, please. <laughs> yes. I didn't call her my Nana. I call her Mimi. Actually. All right, Mimi. Okay. Uh, so we've got this uh, Warrior's Gem. Um, put that into the sword, the bow. Oh, there we go. So 10% damage. That's going to be handy. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And we'll continue on our way towards the fortress. Yeah. You can see where the orcs have actually cleared all the forest here in front of the fortress. So I'm doing some work now. Yes. So they've pretty much eaten all of the humans that used to live here. So in Shadow of Mordor around here, we had Lotharial and the right. and so on. Um, 
but they're pretty much done for, so they've had to rely on other orcs for their orcs gonna eat. leader. This is actually not a really nice example of a vegetation now, so we can use that for stealth as well. Okay. Yes, so I come up. Ellie, we have a, a request that uh, you grow a facial beard, like all of us on stream. Oh, I gotta work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Borrow, guys. Borrow, that'd be fun. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Um, so before we just launch the assault, we're just gonna go into the army screen. Just give a little bit of a tour of some of the orcs. Actually, if we come down and see the, the followers, it's just nice to have the chance to go and yeah. show some of the things we've added. We're going to add a follower, too. So that's one of the things. So oh, I mean, okay. let's, let's look at a couple guys that look cool. He's for, already, uh, yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> Mr. Antler's here. The thing we've been able to just expand so much is just the amount of flair and outfits and characters and traits and... Um, Abilities just really blowing it out, and I think what's cool this time. So this is just a random guy we zoomed in on. Mm -hmm. um, so he's Arbinu of the Beasts. He's Feral Tribe. He's a Beast Master. I bet if we go and look at his traits, yeah, he's got a Caragor pack. Oh, that's him. awesome. He's a Beast Slayer. So now it's not just like last time. They looked varied and they looked individual and they right. had lots of characteristics, but it was a bit random this time really are creating these varied and procedural characters and you can have one look at this guy and it's a beast master. Oh, who, that's, who we're gonna go to that's awesome. Yeah, who's that other Olog there? Yeah, the other uh, Olog too? Uh, he's not our follower. Oh, okay. oh still look at him. Oh, Kisu? Yeah. Well, oh, our Mystic's Kisu. Destroyer. So again, we can see he's a destroyer. He's got the bandolier of grenades, so oh, he's going to be detonating things everywhere. Right. Mystic tribe, so he's wearing the mask. He's going to be Although he does, uh, he is sick, so he's particularly vulnerable to poison. So he's scared of caragors. Makes sense. Caragors are pretty dangerous. Oh! <laughs> Tell Jared it's his other grandmother. <laughs> Hi, Nana. It is actually Nana that time. Hi! Go to the front of the skull, I just love. We just basically. I do this a lot. Just roll different hierarchies and right. just check them out and just keep looking through the orcs and you can do this for hours and oh. just never see two guys that are the same totally yeah so again he's an archer trainer he's a specialist um so he's actually lower rank so he hasn't got his gang yet but i bet if this guy survives and moves his way up he's going to have absolutely yeah. archers with him oh he's oh look at the power shot and quick shot yeah he's definitely worth training archers with yeah. That's pretty yeah, awesome. It's cool. All right. Anyway, onwards. Well, let's choose someone for a, a bodyguard, actually. Oh, okay. bodyguards. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, bodyguards. I mean, or maybe we should actually look at the strengths and weaknesses first and then choose someone who will, like, Are we going to choose or are we going to let these guys choose? We'll choose the bodyguards simply because there's the number of them, but then they'll be able to choose who they want as the overlord once we'll, okay. we get to that far. So we've got a bunch of guys here who are already our followers. So we already looked at Urbini. He's right. pretty awesome. Execution. <laughs> Let's actually also check out the Overlord and War Chiefs too, because then we can find the one that's like perfect to kill the Overlord. Because I want to bring the bodyguard in when we're fighting the Overlord. It's a good match, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's check out his weaknesses. So, I'll be Elder. <laughs> Do we <laughs> around for a while? Do we have any more guy flies or Grog followers? Ah. You can actually summon Grogs. That's so true. So if we had that skill, we could bring a Grog in or. Um, yeah, that could that could work. That could work. Uh, flies are going to be more difficult depending on the state that he keeps his throne room in. Right, <laughs> that would be pretty. Fear interesting. of pinning. That's a pretty uh, good one to be able to right. exploit. That'll um, be a good one. His range, his strengths. Yeah, because he's a legendary with two epic traits. So. Great strengths. So getting okay. hit by him is really going to hurt. Right. Uh, and throwing knives. Okay, so yeah, he's pretty effective <laughs> in combat. It's pretty good. What's the uh, the immunities that he has? So, uh, no chance. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, he's living up again. He's an assassin. So, right. this is a guy who's going to get in fast, uh -huh. knock you down quickly, finish you off. Oh, that's awesome. Ellie right. has got to work. This guy actually might yeah. be pretty hard. Might be hard. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's that's sweet. All right. All right What's so the, the farthest two over? Stand. Execution. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <Yes. laughs> no, I mean, that's how he got to be the elder. Oh, See, this guy's a. This guy's a survivor. Yeah. To be a big fish, you don't let yourself get caught. To be an old orc, don't get killed. Yeah. All right. Oh, and last stand. Oof. Good luck. Oh, yeah, this will be fun. So someone who can uh, maybe dish out a lot of damage, take some of the, take some of the heat. Oh, yeah. Great killer. Great killer. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, this guy looks sick. Yeah, specialized uh, monster slayer. Wow. 
Uh, Craven. Craven, though. Yeah, he'll, he'll probably. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he Craven sees the in. Elder, <laughs> quite out. wisely, he's, oh, he's going to be out of there. Oh, okay, yeah, I want to do Craven. I use a lot of fire fire based attacks, so I don't want him to get afraid. Alright, that one's out. Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Respect your elders, kids. Yeah. Don't run up and murder your elders. <laughs> we don't want Agreed. <laughs> I mean, I love the antler guy, honestly. Mortally flammable. What was that about fire again? <laughs> <laughs> It could provide a convenient distraction <laughs> as he <laughs> burns to death. Plus, as he burns to death, you would get loot. That's true. So his death, his death might help. I mean, that's one. <laughs> that's one way. I, I don't know though. What about um? We got a guy all the way on the far right, uh, Archer. Scoff the damned. We'll, we won't that's be executing him. Like, but he's flammable as well. So, eh. I don't know. Um, what's his strengths? Cursed. Yeah, the other guy was curse immune huh? though. The, yeah. The overlord was curse immune. He's pretty tough. He might be alright in the in the battle. Like he's probably a pretty good choice on our assault team. Uh, oh, in the assault team, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Before okay. we get to the Right. Uh, Actually to fill everybody in, this is a very normal thing to be doing in Shadow of War where you look at the strengths and weaknesses and you're trying to figure out which guys complement or can take advantage of a lot of these problems, like as Ellie yeah. put it. We use fire a lot. The guy is mortally <laughs> wounded by fire. Uh, not a good combo. This guy's beast fodder, which is which he's not going to need to face in there, so that's right. fine. That's not bad. He's got a gang. Oh, that's spearmen. awesome. That's actually yeah. going to be really handy in the. Uh, I think this guy. This guy might be a good bodyguard. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't necessarily put him into the fight because they have two Karagor riders in the fight. Yep. So, so save well, if him. He's our bodyguard. We'll summon him in. For right. The overlord. Right. Right. Uh, actually, just yeah. So. Making the bodyguards as simple as just going into the army screen, hitting the command button, mm -hmm. which is Y on there, and just confirming. And then once you have the bodyguard, you can summon him to fight alongside you at any time. Right. And the mounts work in the same way. So if we'd unlock the summon Graug Ooh. skill, we'd be in real good shape. Right. This is going to be good. Uh, this is, this yeah. is a good one. Terrified of burning. You don't need to look at anything else that's enough. <laughs> Ellie is our <laughs> best Shadow of War player, so she comes in and has no problem with anything. So uh, there you go, but yeah, let's. Uh, so we're actually coming up to our first vote now. Uh, the first vote is going to be whether we're going to assault directly or whether we're going to go against the war chief. So you guys will be able to see uh, vote assault and vote, vote bleh, war chief. Whoa, chief! You'll be able to see a vote assault or vote war chief as an option. And so the idea is, if you want to do the straight assault, which is what we have up here, you have that option. Or if you guys want to take out a war chief and pull them out and then fight them, kind of in a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing remove them and then have an easier attack. We see assaults currently at 70%, so that might be what we'll do. We could also potentially do the take out the war chief later as well, so it could be either any direction really. And um, <laughs> if we do <laughs> actually assault, and in the course of the assault we manage to take down some of these war chiefs, uh -huh. and then if Ellie, it's not going to happen, but if she was to die um, and time moves forward, then those guys are going to stay dead. Right, so yeah. you can actually advance time and make progress even if uh -huh. you do fail the assault. Cool. Oh, that's, that's, that's looking pretty assault. Okay. We still have a couple more uh, moments of people voting. So uh, let's give them a few more seconds. And I think as we do this, so I do want Ellie to die once to show what it's like. Okay. And so you can this do it kind of like. It's a pretty hard hierarchy, though, Jerry. It, it I'm is. I'm feeling like there is a chance of legitimate That overlord, we'll just yeah. save it, but he's now set you up. So any case in which you <laughs> do actually die. I know. Oh, that was clearly on Perfect. purpose. <laughs> that was for Jerry. Oh, we. And <laughs> his man. Aw, we got Don now. Let's see. So looking through, as people are going through, it's. Let's do one more refresh and see where it is. Yeah. Assault. We're going to do an assault first. Okay. So we could potentially, if you were to die, we could have that option as um, just as a second up kind of thing that we can do. It's just like, well, you died once, and then we do War Chief just so people can experience it. Uh, or you can live, whatever. We have like 40 more minutes to go, so mm -hmm. however we sort of choose to do it. Well, if we get through it and we manage to defeat him, then we can sort of yeah, attack yeah. it again in a different way. There is that. Whatever. So let's go ahead and start choosing some of the abilities, but once we get to 18 down there, this is actually for them to choose. So oh, I see, okay. Booble the Handsome, what a name! I love it. It's not ironic at all. No, so he's beautiful. He's an assassin and he's uh, mounted. Right. And basically, for every assault leader that we bring in mm -hmm. to help Ellie take down this fortress, that also gives us the option to upgrade our attacking army. So right. either to bring additional forces in, or to bring some sort of other sort of upgrade, or artillery, or beasts. Awesome. So this first slot where we have Bubol, um, this <laughs> enables handsome? us. 
The hands. Sorry. Group. Yeah. Um, <laughs> enables us to bring in some additional troops. So right. sappers. These are like basically that guy who was at the Battle of Helm's Deep who ran up, detonated the wall. Oh yeah. Boom. So um, they're pretty great for helping us breach in through the gates. Mounted cavalry. The thing with Caragors as cavalry versus horses is they can climb. So mm -hmm. this cavalry actually sort of living siege ladders. They right. can go up and over the walls. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and then finally, Olog High, who've got these massive clubs. So once again, these are our version of battering rams, right. as well as being uh, really powerful in combat as well. Okay. We can choose whatever one we want to do for this one at the moment. Like, uh, so they have stone walls. Okay. I, uh, I mean, if we have anybody, they had two Karagors, so I wouldn't necessarily do mana Karagors if they don't have anybody who's hurt by beasts, like a beast fodder guy. So like, but let's do whatever's coolest. So they've got really powerful gates and they've got stone walls. So that's ah. probably going to mean even with the sappers, it's going to be hard to uh, blow those up. Right. So maybe actually a Karagor one. That'll get us uh, over the walls. Maybe take out some of the archers that are lining the walls. So it seems like a good oh, okay. choice. Let's do it. And then in the second slot again, now we've got a choice of more troops. Um, these are combat troops. So savages. These are dual uh. wielding. Uh, axe wielding guys, so really up close and carving their way through the defenders. Right. Defenders have got shields. They're going to um, absorb more incoming fire from mm. archers, you know, soak up more damage. So right. if we can get in and have a breach and have these guys around us at the victory point, they're going to uh, basically play more on defense or attack. Okay. And hunters are spearmen. So if we were facing enemy Karagors, enemy right. Ologs, different creatures, they're really effective at standing back and taking those down. That's awesome. Since we have two Karagor riders, should we do something like Hunter Host? But then we also have Savages as our opponents, uh, <laughs> troops that they're bringing in. So mm -hmm. strategically, which direction do we... All whatever's LA. coolest to you. Yeah. LA, it's all you. I usually like to bring different. Up some damage here. Um, and now, and and this thing, the, the number of um, assault leaders that you're bringing with you, right. that actually grows as the game goes on, as we mm. get deeper into the story, as the armies get larger. So here, no, we're probably about halfway through the story. So that's where we've got the four. Um, assault leaders, but later in the story, and then as through other upgrades, we can bring as many as six, and then we've even got additional uh, army upgrades that we can bring in board oh, as awesome. well. So the third slot is our artillery, and they're these massive siege beasts, so giants with big ballistas on their back. And what we can choose now is what sort of ammunition to equip them with. So fire is obviously great for just spreading general damage. Right. Um, poison's really effective. Um, both against troops, but also if we had any enemies we were facing that had a weakness to fire. And Curse spreads terror among the um, enemies, and again is a good one to look for if they have particular weaknesses. Ah, uh, we got Curse. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> Damn it, Andy, is some of the comments. Vote Pants. Yeah, I like it. So we're going Curse? Yeah, let's do Curse. And last, but by absolutely no means least, uh, there's Creatures. This is probably the hardest choice because they're all really awesome. And this will also be where you guys will vote on this. So let oh, well. like Mike go through the discussion. Okay. I'm actually going to set up the vote. So uh, we can do this. I would go off screen, but um, I like being in. Actually, yeah. Go ahead, Mike. I'll get off screen for this. So the thing with the Wild Drake, um, this is a fire-breathing um, young dragon. And the thing with that, he is wild. He's not tame. So he's going to be spreading chaos among our troops and among the enemy troops. But if Ellie breaks him, then we'll also be able to take him over and ride him around and use him in combat as well. The war growl is a little different. He's actually tame. So he's a massive hulking giant who can also climb towers, take down enemy artillery, help us claim uh, victory points. So he's pretty awesome if we want to go King Kong. And Shelob's brood. These are sort of swarms of these big spiders that can uh, really wreak havoc among enemy troops. So spiders, a giant growl, or a wild and perilous drink. <laughs> all right, so I just opened the vote for you guys mm -hmm. to make that decision. Uh, so all of you guys were hitting vote spiders prior to him <laughs> finishing 
you didn't vote yet, so do it again. Okay. And uh, it'll count your votes. It won't recount, and you can change count or votes as well if you want to. These are cool. So, uh, oh yeah. Cool. You're so right, I told you, yeah. yeah. We're, we're all. I was like, who isn't gonna want a drink? <laughs> I mean, I know, I know. Well, actually, look at this. Yeah. See this? Yes. Oh my gosh! No drink, you guys. Come on. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> spiders is currently oh. at eighty-two oh, percent. I think awesome. uh, spiders is. <laughs> Hold on. Let's let oh, them. Oh, I want to. I want to yeah, see the final chance. choice, but uh, uh, seventy-nine point six guys. Look, it's gaining. <laughs> Something else is. Oh. Rogue and Drake are actually pretty close at like eight and ten percent. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, I know my chat. Wow. It's <laughs> Drake's awesome. That's great. Yeah, spiders. The, it's a good choice. It's a, all the choices are good. <laughs> you have disappointed them slightly. No, no, no. Oh. I was actually hoping for that spider. I'm just surprised. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you haven't disappointed at all. It's moved to seventy-five point six percent, though. So, oh. as you can see, not at all close. <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do spiders. I'm gonna close that one out. I, I feel so proud. You guys didn't let me down. It was just like they're gonna be spiders. <laughs> I, I'm convinced it's gonna be spiders. <laughs> so we stopped the vote. So now we're doing spiders. And uh, I mean, one thing for those of you guys who are interested in grogs, because uh, there was about ten percent of you that I saw doing grogs. There are siege beasts that mm -hmm. we can climb up. And actually, uh, let's let's ride one. I think that would be. We really can cool. try. We can't guarantee these things. It's gonna be chaotic. Oh yeah. Sometimes they die in the yes. very beginning. <laughs> It's not like we scripted this in any way, shape, or form. Right. Anything can happen. If yeah. we catch one in time, let's try to ride one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So fun not knowing how these are going to turn out. Oh, totally. <laughs> also, it's hard to hear us at this point, and uh, let's oh, okay. make so we'll all change the volume. But so right now they all hear this. <laughs> But uh, when they all start talking, same rules handling. We uh, no comments during any work conversation. My lads told me you brought an army with you. I'm looking, and I don't see anything I'd call an army. You will not capture our fortress this day. Not our keep, not our walls. Your bodies will be ripped to pieces, pressed into the mud before our mighty gates. Now's the time to strike, Moss. On your order, of course. They should thank us for bringing war to their gates. Instead, they spout nonsense. I say we should go in there and teach them some manners. Oh yeah, that helmet's been gotten pretty popular because you can't see through it really. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty fun. Spider shell. Okay, what are we gonna do first? So there we can see the cursed. Oh, they're actually they have the poison artillery. Right. So you can actually, if you can shoot the, or if Ellie can shoot the ammo packs on the back, that's a really good way to weaken these guys as right. well. We also have our own. Mount our own siege beast and actually use that as artillery, so we can fire these cursed projectiles. All right. You can actually see that if you see the first victory point near that A, yeah, yeah. a bunch of these guys are already dazed. Right. Um, I bet that's the spiders already in there, <laughs> just oh, yeah. spreading some chaos. I mean, to quote well, Sir Spiffy, we bring spooters. So. <laughs> yeah, let's bring them in. Okay, so now um, the siege beast has had the artillery blasted off his back. Um, and that enables us to take over, ride him, and actually climb straight over these walls. Oh, I love Maybe that. Maybe even take out some of the enemy artillery. I think. Yeah, I think you already took him out already. Oh, he's broken. <laughs> oh, there you go. Boom. Oh, now they're gonna do the punching battle. Ow. Oh. I love. Oh, man, it's like they're. Oh, and he's done. Hour. So we've actually um, can destroy their artillery. And then... Yeah, might as well. Oh, I love that they're doing like the sucker punch. <laughs> Turtle fight. Close ogre plague bringer. Oh, so while um, Ellie was up there busy taking out those grouds, you can see around that victory point. Uh, one of our followers is bleeding out. So if you see the bleeding over the top, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the circle that's bleeding out. So these guys can obviously. Yeah, 
four, but you don't get very far. And you don't blunder back out alive! Let's see about that. <laughs> Yeah, like rock and sock and frog bots. That's uh, that, yeah, we yeah, exactly. This time, help His name is Bootleg. <laughs> yep, so he is quite rightly, uh, quite wisely taking off. And now, see that guy that was broken by the growl Ooh. in combat. I think he's is he oh, who we looked at before. Yeah, that's the Drake Slayer. Oh, that that's we awesome. Checked out before. So now, that's uh, oh, he's now. I aim at Oh, you did? Did yeah. you shadow Brent? Yeah, hold on. Oh, shadow of course! Oh, shadow you shadow dominated the wrong guy. One of our followers, right. no, so okay. Just show him who's boss. Right. Yeah, the guy with the broken. There we icon. go. Oh. Gotta high five the face. Painted. So, we can recruit him. Uh, we can shame him just to give him a lesson and hunt him down later in the world, or let him go and fight him to the death if mm -hmm. we want that sweet gear. But it's all I mean. I mean, he looks really cool. I, I love I the, I the body paint. Around. That's really cool, yeah. We need him. <laughs> Some people are saying shame, shame, yeah. shame. Yeah, we'll, we'll shame. Don't worry, guys. I'm a big fan of shame. Skak the painted. Come on, he's so cool. He is pretty cool. You want to try to save the guy who's right at your feet? Yeah. Oh, never mind. It's <laughs> <laughs> a random grunt. Got that shot in, too. <laughs> oh, nice okay, use yeah. of the AoE. Another upgrade we've got now is you can add the different elemental effects onto the elven light, the right. AoE, so you can use that to poison, or to freeze, or in this case to start a fire around the victory point. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's, okay. it's awesome. And so now, the help of the followers fills up um, that first victory point, We've claimed it. There's another broken guy back there too. Oh, that's working. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. You should go <laughs> shame this one for all of you. Did I hear a knock at the door? I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. Maybe Andy's guy? coming back. First guy that had the audacity to tell Ellie she wasn't going to take this for. Yeah. So Maybe as you guys requested, I'm going to shame now. Yep. Fourteen. So Ooh. that really uh, messes with their mind, but right. he's going to survive. He's back out there. The region. When we meet him later, he's going to remember this. So it's a really good way to build up and develop more stories. For these guys. Our movement um, can now rapidly climb up the side of buildings. And right. of course, we have the double jump and we have that aerial slow mo. Ooh. So oh no! Oh. no! I tried. Nazu! The execution. But even that, so a few things now. He's dead. So here's that nice bow. It was left for us. Oh, and a rare actually, rune to upgrade the ring with as right. well. Nazu actually left the rune. One of our mm -hmm. the painted guy that we just dominated just killed the other captain, and that's how we got that bow. It's just, nice. just in the corner. I was like, oh, look at that. That was sick. And so on the ring of power, on the new ring, the right. key stat that's on that is your focus, which affects the slow-mo. So uh -huh. that's your ability to slow time in range, but also to use other moves like the dash and right. the sprint. Oh, oh, yeah. And we've got the other trait as well. So the thing we get now that's quite fun uh -huh. is um, on the rare or above items, we can see that it says the Lunar Rune, and mm -hmm. that came from Nazu the Executioner. Right. Now we have a challenge on that where if three, which actually this particular challenge of Fort Assault is a nice place to have this. If our followers defeat three enemies, uh -huh. we'll then unlock an extra attribute where all of our allies are going to take 10% less damage. Oh, that's awesome. And that will really immortalize Nazu the Executioner because it unlocks his name and a right. little quote from him as well. So um, on Shadow of Mordor, we'd find people would get these relationships with these orcs and kind of be a little sad when they finally killed them and right. wanted a way to remember them. So now the way you can remember them forever is is through your favorite gear and your loot and actually uh, immortalizing <laughs> I love the idea of just looking at your sword. It's like, I miss you. I miss, I miss you. Slash bang, slash bang, slash. bang, bang. <laughs> yeah. It's very, okay. uh, Everybody's saying it's like Aslar, Natsu. <laughs> they they oh. fell in love with Azu. Oh yeah, but even uh. like the the demolisher, like that gear that we got from him, uh -huh. well, he will live forever. Ooh, it's a oh, better bow. Yeah, a little nice. bit better. Let's see. You're, you're having a developing fan club, Ellie. Uh, cool. <laughs> Press F to pay respect. That's right. Oh, that's a, um, is that, some, is that a oh. or is that money? 
Oh, it looks, oh, up above, that's actually one of the talking collectibles. Oh, okay, well, we won't grab that now, but in the future, the little um, Gondorian icon there with the tree and the crescent moon, um, that's one of the collectibles. Again, and learn more about the background and the right. history. So our mountain combat on the um, Caragors, we've expanded that a lot as well now, so you can also use the glaive and right. the spear. And you can build up your light bar, the light bar is the orange one above the mini map, mm -hmm. to enable you to do special moves and execution kills and all ah, enemies. Like stabbing in the leg. And yes. Oh no, Caragor down! <laughs> across the ground to this fort, a feast for the seething maggots. It's hard to actually see the exact detail on that guy, but if you look really closely, he's actually got individual little you can see the maggots, maggots in there. swerving around and oh. the hits in his flesh. It is gross. And his name's Wormwicker, so he, he likes to be on. He likes it. To lick his own maggots. <laughs> Metawing, no, you can't ride the spiders. <laughs> Oh, you're doing this part again. So that gains you a lot of might, which is what's really yes. nice about it. Yeah, and builds up your hit counter. It's right. a really good moving combat. Ooh! Oh. Give him a favor. It looks painful. How long is the worm with He's into that kind of thing. What do we get? What's the worm with going to give us? Okay. Oh, oh dang it. And so now, third victory point is captured, and all of the war chiefs are defeated. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the army is actually surrendered at this point, so it's really right. handy. If you want to just go around, you can find one of the enemies and mm -hmm. just drain them, um, get your health ready for the final battle. Right. Probably do that. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a good idea. Actually, so time-wise, uh, we've been on about uh, half an hour. <laughs> so, I mean, we had the discussion about... Oh, someone who asked about spiders? There's, There's a spider right back there. Oh, wow, well, in the chaos. Yeah, you can see these guys. Oh, cheering for us. Yeah, I think it's the really cute oh, when they actually... Oh, well, he's dead. <laughs> you killed the spider. But yeah, at the end, they kind of like cheer, which I think is really cute. Um, well, and the other guy, and the uh, the enemies that are defeated will kneel down, so you can just walk the, up to them yeah. and add them to your army Take as well. Take right then. So, well, my point. I totally forgot the spiders. It's okay. And they I were saw there a couple. Spread and chaos. Yeah, I they saw They helped the us a lot, though. Yep. That first point. Oh yeah, that first point with everybody they was really dazed. Helped. That was actually yeah. them. Yeah. Um, but uh, she killed the spooter. Uh, <laughs> no spooters. So, well, my point was is if we like, it's only been about half an hour, and we have about an hour to do stuff. So mm -hmm. that might give us an opportunity to try to do a reroll. Maybe either charge through as quickly as it can, or we're gonna get the overlord first, though. Right? Yeah. Well, I was no, gonna say, no, do you want to yeah. do you want to die, or do you want to? You can't die now? Oh. Well, I was going to give them the opportunity to pull out a war chief and stuff like that. No. Okay. <laughs> I got this I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got it. Well, you just get this guy real quick. <laughs> All right. And plus, we've got to um, summon the bodyguard. we got to summon the bodyguard. we yep. got to show the legendary gear we'll get from this guy. Yeah. Like, we gotta let this guy badmouth us. He taunted us. us in the beginning. We can't let him get away with that. Right. Let's see who we promote. So we'll get to show a couple of. Uh, Those who dare stand before the Lord of this fort are swiftly put to death. That's right. And yet you're still here. Oh, oh. snap. <laughs> Dark comments being <laughs> said there. Look at all, I love the knives on his bandolier to throw. That's nice. He's got the throwing knives as well. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's bring in our bro. Okay, first let's just remind ourselves of how incredibly tough this guy is. <laughs> so what it looks like. You're oh, saying. the fear oh, yeah. of pinning—that we'll is that. literal Achilles' heel. Yeah, it'll be yeah. perfect. <laughs> Shooting him in the heel is his Achilles. Heel. Shoot him in the foot. He does look <laughs> Kratos. He does look a little bit like God of War, doesn't he? Kratos. Yeah. yeah. He let himself go and lived immortal. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Oh, nice slide. Ooh. Don't forget our bodyguard. Okay. Like one of the, the oof. The biggest joys is to see someone else taken out in some of the fight. All right, so he's shown up. And should be somewhere. I think we might have lost him. We oh, oh, did we lose him in the fight? Yeah, we lost oh. Him in the fight. It's oh. the one I tried to save, but I didn't get to him. Oop, I saw a couple ch chats and uh, a couple chat comments saying you lost him. Yeah. I was like, no, we didn't. We're fine. Sorry, I should have trusted you guys. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh. So the glaive you can use in combat as well, it's really handy. Right. And you 
can double oh, charge it to do uh, combos too. Right, the charge up one. Oh man. Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh no, it's... I'm so gonna question from Lord Clamoring. Yep. Just, uh, just letting you guys know... As oh, mighty shot. We're, 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 doing com we're focusing on this right now, but as in like when you ask things like, how many regions? We're not talking about that at the moment. We're, uh, we're here to support Ellie. Mike and I, cheerleaders. So, pom-poms and all. Which, I don't have any pom-poms. I should have brought pom-poms. That would have been awesome. You haven't got the pom-poms? No, I forgot the pom-poms. I got confused with setting up the stream and everything. So the archers are positioned up around the balcony. Right. They're a really good opportunity to go and dominate them and then actually flip them oh, from yeah. being a uh, threat into the... Get health. No, I don't see pom-poms. Ooh, the poison shot. Oh, tell you what. Um, also, your elven rats feel charged. Oh, yeah. oh that would be a sick moment. So the blue bar on the right that goes all the way around, right. that's an uh, elven rat, so that enables um, Calibri more to come out. Oh, you got him going down. Oh, not quite. So, it's a, I got a comment which was like, oh, you're doing it, which was like, are you immortal right now? No, not at all. No, no, no. That we was almost close died. to death, yeah. but um, that brief period, so if you save up the elven rat, that like, gives you a little taste of immortality. Oh yeah. So um, should we? I don't want to shame them because I want to show them the legendary gear. No, so. we'll fight them to the death. Oh, yeah. okay. There we go. Fight to the death. Yeah, a lot of people saying die, die, die. So yeah, fight to the death of this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the Achilles <laughs> heel. That's what you said. He lived so long uh, and died for an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> it happens sometimes, you know. The the best overlords do the, what they can. <laughs> But he didn't need like new armor to show off necessarily either. I think some might have dropped. You listen, you can hear the thunder of our enemy's feet as they flee. While we feast in victory, they quake in fear because they know that we are coming for them. Witness the rise of Mordor. Witness the rise of the bright Lord. And then, um, so now we own the fortress, right? Which also means we own the region. All right, I'm gonna set up the uh, the opportunity for us to um, choose who we want as our overlord. Oh yeah, cool. So I'm and, gonna hop um, off screen for a second. All right, and then oh. any gear that we didn't pick up in the course of the fight. So that legendary dagger, the purple one, that would have come. That's your reward for shooting him in the butt, <laughs> and uh, and some nice armor as well. All right. So, oh wow, we got a, a line. Backstabbing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we lost our bodyguard, right? So yep. Yeah. That's a, all right. I'm gonna put in Feral because that like the horn guy because I know that that guy was cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. put that guy as an option. Uh, let's uh, do a couple my, other ones. Is my painter still alive? Oh, your painter? Oh, Skak oh, the painted. Oh yeah. Mystic. That's uh. Let's do Skak. He should. He's an option oh, now. Oh wow. Although he would also make a cool bodyguard, so it's sort of a shame to leave him uh, back good, there. That's a good point. That is home. a good point, yeah. Uh, oh, let's do Drake Killer. Rat attack. He's, he's feral too, though. Well, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. I mean, but it's it's up to them to kind of choose. Let's see. Um, Booble. Of course, Booble. Because he's handsome. <laughs> and plus, if you've got the Marauder Fortress, you're going to get more cash as Ooh. you go and wander around. That's another the, good point, too. Region. Yeah. Okay, so I think out of those four is oh, probably. Oh, uh, really? We can only do four. Oh well, no, we can do way more than four. I'm just like oh, wow. the damn. Cool. He is cool. I've just wanted to stick with people that we all kind of like had a relationship with. All right. People are some, some people are asking for to see all the options. Some people are already starting to vote on who they want. Oh, just all right. We'll, we'll check them all. Why not? Yeah, well, we can check them all. Machine. This is a cool fortress. I'm just gonna put machine in there if people yep. just want to do a machine. I don't really know who the Narug thinker. the thinker is. He's a thinker. That's you kind of want that in an overlord. I guess that's a good Bit point. I prefer more of a knower though. <laughs> I knew it. I like a feel. A feel. <laughs> and a warmonger. Well, that's a good one too. Okay. We just have warmonger. Right. So anyway. okay, so out of that, everybody, I selected feral, skak, attack, booble, and a machine option. <laughs> That's how we're gonna do that. It's not necessarily That's very, not very consistent. Oh schema. no, it's not at all. Not at all. Yeah. But uh, we're going with that just simply because we want you guys to be able to vote on which ones. And I forgot some of the names. 
So, but let's go ahead and look at some of the guys too, to see. Machine. I'm gonna come back on screen. Ugh. I return. Wow. So let's see. Right now, it's split pretty down the middle. Uh, machine and feral are yeah, currently the leading options. Uh, let's keep looking at some of them just so people can be reminded. I mean, if we kill this guy though, uh, we get an epic weapon, so that's fun. And plus, he's awesome. Oh god, he's really cool. I really like that guy because he looks good. Um, Feral is currently. I mean, Skak is pretty sick too with the cursed weapons and the mystic. Like, that's awesome as well. Uh, Feral is still in the lead. Machine is following closely. Booble and Skak are low. This is the machine guy. That's it. See, he's he's an awesome fortress. And he, I like the like single sword look, but compared to everybody else, he's a little bit less. He can grow into it. Yeah, he can grow develop. into it. He's one of those growing into that yeah. guys. Uh, Feral's still in the lead, pretty high. The Marauder, I love the way the Marauder ones look. They look really good. This guy's so cool. Yeah, he's he's just is cool. Okay, I think that's the one that everybody's going. Forty percent still. Go with the one that. Throw the dinosaur says go with the one that nobody wants. Shake it up. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll go with we'll it's go the principle dino. of democracy. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And our war chiefs get promoted too. Yeah, so those guys can move in. They can help defend the fortress. Uh, and then when we fight the defenses, of course, there's kind of the reverse of the assault. So we right. have to defend the victory points, take down the waves of right, right, incoming right. enemies. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to equip that uh, yeah. dagger in honor of Og. Dagger of War. Hell yeah. And the Numenorean armor, just so people can see it, too. I think that's nice here. So now, um, the Feral Tribe's in control of this. So on the left here, uh, that's actually Drake bait. So because they're so good at hunting and bringing down different creatures, they've actually brought down this Drake that they're kind of carving little bits of jerky right. off. And if we shoot that, um, Should we at bring any time, that's going to be the bait. So. Should we bring a Drake in and just take it out? Why not? All right. Drake's coming. I'll fly it around. Yeah. Why not? He going? He should be attracted to that. Yeah, there he, he is. Comes. So this is what you guys could have had over spiders. Um, but, I mean... Never too late. Never too late. I mean, so time-wise, it's been about um, 40 minutes. Oh, so nice. Oh. oh, yeah, they're all helping. Oh, there it is. We are flying. Drake time. Sauron's domain is now much smaller. Yay! <laughs> yeah, these are a nice way to get around. And we can also just give a nice little tour. That they have the um, the monument there that got made from all the bones. And then we can continue to upgrade this fortress as well. So as you add more garrisons, the tower and the keep are going right. to grow. You have more war chiefs defending. You have more upgrades available during the battle. Oh, that's awesome! Do you all want right. to put our dagger on? Yeah, let's uh, show them the, yeah. uh, the items right. too. Some more bait there, you can have two drinks. <laughs> Actually, this one will be friendly, then they can fight. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> wow. So, uh, we have to stick around the fortress yeah, yeah, yeah. as a, as so a reminder. There's friendly ones here. Okay. And, um, oh, do the dagger really quick? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. let's, let's check out the legendary stuff. I want to show them, like, because legendary sets are so interesting. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. That's a good looking one. And the thing with the uh, legendary ones, not only is it going to uh, look like that, but as you upgrade them, mm -hmm. the legendary gear actually levels up. So right. it'll actually evolve um, even more in terms of how it looks and fits oh, in awesome. with the entire set. And a lot of the challenges around how to upgrade the legendary gear are around uh, challenges in the Nemesis system and building your army. So right. in this case, it's dominating an orc from the Warmonger tribe of uh -huh. level 40. So that's like a good goal for us in terms of leveling up, in terms of right. tracking down a Warmonger mm -hmm. and then, um, so the, I guess the way to end up with these legendary sets really involves hunting and tracking these particular types of orcs and classes and tribes. Oh, that's awesome. I want to take a moment to note. 66, did that say 66% chance of curse on quick throw? Stealth attacks yeah. light enemies on fire. But look at that wow. set bonus. You will periodically explode. <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> Italian's just like, sorry guys, I, uh, I lit a fuse and it will never ever stop exploding. <laughs> Just cheese. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, he's still around. So they should find. Yeah, that'll be cool. Let's let's bring one in. So now we have the option. Do we want to try to do another like hierarchy cycle so that people can see some of the other stuff? Sure. Um, or I mean, like, cool. That works. Let's bring in that other Drake, too. Oh. Or did just summon the the other one originally too? I don't see anything on the mini map. Yeah. Ah uh, no. Oh well. 
Oh. All right. Oh. See, we got a uh, we had a question, which is, why was there no speech for the Overlord from Fargate Blood It? Because from the uh, the game, uh, tr the first gameplay trailer that we showed, there was a speech from the Overlord. So like, why is it tallying now? Oh, wait, all right. Just the right. Um, order of events in which they're happening. So, okay. Um, actually, when you promote the Overlord, so uh -huh. they'll have the confirmation, but the actual flow of when you're capturing the fortress, we've mm -hmm. now moved that. So that's Talion and Celebrimbor giving that speech. Okay. And that puts you in the right spot so that you're there ready to jump down right. and kind of reoccupy your fortress as well. Oh, that's awesome. So, so just, just an example of how mm -hmm. things evolve. During right. the course of development, as we finish things and close things, I wish that other dragon turned up. Oh, yeah. well, he's out there somewhere. Okay, but in response to it, there's the other one, Arcade yeah. one flying around. Well, the fun thing is, so if you've got a dragon, mm -hmm. a drake, it's a, a, as part of your army when you're beginning, right. and then it's a feral fortress, so there's multiple ones there, right. and you can summon one, you can have like four, you know, or, or even more, I guess, in some cases, drakes flying around up there. It's oh, just that's awesome. Crazy. Okay, so with that, should we do a, a recycle and go ahead? Should sure. I pull out? Okay, so I'm going to switch to... Yeah. Uh, oh, it's machine. Oh, it's machine. Okay, we're nice, good. Nice. nice. We, we don't need to hide it's it. It's all today. good. We know we're good. We're good. We, we talked about this yesterday, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but let me grab some questions, too. Oh, yeah. Can someone show us big spiders? No. Uh, <laughs> biggest fortress in the game, if the answer... No, that depends on you. you got to level up the fortress, actually. Yeah, so we saw that down the side as well. So that was uh, three more chiefs, so that's right. halfway there. So six is six. the largest yeah. we have at so this point. Good. Yeah, and plus, those guys can then have their bodyguards in turn, so mm -hmm. um, it can get pretty intense. That's awesome. Uh, Real Warden was asking, uh, can orcs see the glaive? Which is a really interesting question. That's actually... I, I don't know that one. I think they they actually they definitely can see that manifestation because right. in the same way when we use the deadly spectre skill and things like that, so the last known right. position, they can be uh, drawn to inspect and investigate that stuff. Right, that makes sense. Uh, let's actually take out a war chief for this one, so that people can get a chance. Okay, to sure, see. chance to weaken the fortress before yeah. we assault it. Oh, we should um, set a new bodyguard first. As Ooh, well. yeah, uh, I can see that. Let's see. Jim oh, wow. Jamma, can overlords find out your spies are and kill them, even if they're not actually spies? <laughs> yes, actually, both those things, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. In fact, when I was testing this yesterday, I had a spy, came out, oh, killed him, good. and uh, there's some great, great, great like conversation between our orcs and us when it's just like, we didn't have a spy. <laughs> like, yeah. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Think, they're pretty paranoid. Oh, the Karagor Tamer. That's a good one. So he's also um, a Beastmaster, but different tribe. Uh -huh. And he's got a Karagor pack with him, so that's pretty Ooh, that's nice, yeah. I see a question from Forden, which was, what difficulty are we on? We're on normal right now. It's uh, also, Ellie's fantastic. So if you guys read any of the uh, press follow-ups that we did from the last couple weeks, a lot of them talked about how difficult it was, because mm. it is very difficult if you're not Ellie. So. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I, 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 but, I'm definitely building um, it up. It's, it's totally, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the, and, and we do have easy mode as well. Yes, we do so have easy mode. So that's the thing. Last time we didn't have difficulty modes. Mm -hmm. This time we've got in both directions. Ooh, so hard today. is genuinely hard. Normal is challenging. Right. And you get to, and of course, a Fort Assault is going to be one of the largest, most crazy, chaotic oh, yeah. uh, cases of all. So just dropping somebody into the middle of that is going to make it hard. super hard. And, I mean, um, and, on, and on top of that, too, one of the things, uh, a lot of the guys that I worked with were able to be their overlords mm -hmm. because we had strategies that we were able to encourage them to use. The game can be extremely hard if you ignore the weaknesses, or it can be you know, okay, very intelligent. Can I answer that one? Go for it. Um, will we see larger battles outside fortresses? Uh, we do actually have some big pitched battles out in the open as well, so Ooh. that's pretty cool. That's a good one. I love how, what's his uh, bonus traits? I'm very, we have a legendary on our team. Oh, great strength. So that's enormous uh, damage with that oh, weapon. Fanatical gang and, with uh, Yeah, awesome. fanatical gangs are fun because if you attack him, they're going to become enraged. When oh, they're enraged, cool. they're going to do more damage, they're yeah. going to attack more aggressively, unblockable attacks. It's pretty awesome. This is the, I, I oh, love wow, commanders nice. as bodyguards because they just bring so much with them. Yeah. And marauders are one of my Marauder favorites. with the hail of bolts, so the twin. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh. I think we need this guy. Yeah, I, let's, I would like this guy the as a legend. bodyguard, possibly. The, the legend. legend, and of course, he's legendary. Whoa. So, if the worst should come to pass, and he should die in your service, you're going to get some cool shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and so now we have to choose which war chief to take down. We've got Lorne the Haunted, Cursed, mm -hmm. and Mystic. 
Uh, also a commander. Right. But vulnerable Sick. to poison. So. That's your mighty shot, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, Venom. Mm -hmm. Venom mighty shot. So you can apply different augments to your abilities. Uh, mighty shot's one of the ones where you can do poison, ice, or fire. And we I happen to know that Ellie's setup has poison on it. So mighty shot, take this guy, make him sick. It's and cursed, though. Yeah, one. that's dangerous. Make my bow difficult to use. If he hits you, though. Yeah. I mean, you and also the Elven Wrath curse will drain that out. Yep. Oh. Well. oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually did not know that part. It's pretty dangerous. Confu Can't confuse haberdasher asking you not to kill this one. Actually, Aww, well, you can we'll always we'll donate him. Guy. That works too. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Oh, my God. Trickster. Yeah, Terrified these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Can summon our Kyrgor. Yeah, Ooh, that's, that's cool. Nice. That's a good one. And wow, flammable. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that's a match these are, in heaven. These are easy pickings. Guys. Yeah. So this is actually an example of how they can be a little bit easier for assault. Because our last one, we didn't have guys who had these weaknesses we could exploit mm -hmm. as easily. This is this one they have a little bit more exploitable. Versus the opposite may be true with our Overlord, who has a, like no exploitable weaknesses. Actually, I saw just a question previously. Someone was asking the special weapons or yeah. attack from the um, Warmonger tribe, and it's these gauntlets. So they can actually use these big gauntlets to actually lock your weapon in place um, when you're in combat as well. Oh man, that's awesome. And that's a struggle. Mm -hmm. Arrowproof though. So we have. Ooh, that's no, a tough one. Frostproof. So we have about. Um, 20-ish minutes. Okay. So we can we can rush a fortress assault. You're cheating the time again, aren't you? Let's do that. Uh, I'm not cheating any time. Really? I yeah. thought it was two. two. Okay. <laughs> it's uh because we we started a little late. Okay. And we have we have an hour of gameplay we're allowed to share. Ah, oh, uh, I see. Stream an hour of gameplay. Right. right. What do you What do we do? Um, so we can pull. All, all these is totally unknown. There's the the mystery watch. Right. Yeah. So, are, is their item quality better than legendary? Freddy nine zero eight eight. That's the top. Legendary is the top, mm -hmm. but uh, there is in the sense that once you've got legendary, you can continue to upgrade the right. levels of it as well. So. Oh, that's awesome. Let's actually pull out uh, a war uh, war chief. Oh, serpent. So, track this guy down. Sure. Okay. Let's do it. He's got one, two, three, four bodyguards. That's gonna be good. That's oh, perfect. Man. That's a perfect my one. Day, Make it hard. My day has come. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he's hanging out right near the fortress here, so it's perfect. Cool. It's a trap. Darken the Necromancer. For those upgrades at the beginning, do you only get them for one battle, or do they stay? Uh, they stay. Mm -hmm. So, and then you can choose between them as you unlock more right. of them. So there you go. They do only stay for that one this region. This chief believes he has us where he wants us. Let us show him the error of his way. Oh, okay. Triggering trap. I love it. Uh, it's a trap. We know it's a trap. <laughs> see. Notice that some Uruks had bars above their heads in the army screen. Okay, Centaur owns. I, you might be referring to the ones where, as you move time forward, so like if you die or if you do a oh, mission, yes. that's them going through missions. Uh, or missions. Yeah, so they're on a mission in right. the world. They could be hunting or proving themselves or in the fight pit or throwing a feast. Mm -hmm. um, and as time passes, basically, those missions get resolved right. automatically. Um, last time in Shadow Mordor, every time time passed, we resolved every mission, but now some of them have uh, an amount of time that oh. they take. There you go. <laughs> what was that? It's like Crush it. Yeah, that was, uh, oh, was ah. like, so, so. the Crusher. So even though this isn't the assault, we've still got to infiltrate the fortress. Oh, there's a. That worm. That's probably handy to learn about that other. Yeah, fortress. I can see that. <laughs> a bunch of people are asking us to unlock the skill above. Oh yeah, we did have a skill. Oh, so no. we can actually <laughs> getting the strengths and weaknesses of one of his oh, body or, or of one of the bodyguards we're about to face now Let's could see. be handy. Do it either way you want I think to. We have intel. What is the? Oh no, but the bodyguards are going to be here too. Mistigan seventy three asks, "What is the biggest Seth. enemy in the game?" I mean, do you think that's like the Sauron? Sauron? Is yeah. that the Balrog? I mean, height wise, Bal we're, we're talking about height. Oh, straight up height. Straight up Bal height, like Bal size. Bal yeah, not like oomph. Right. Like phys yeah. Physical, if I put one in a room, it's which the, one would the limit barrel. the yeah. volume of water when, I could fill in afterward? When his Mimi was drawing little lines on the yeah. wall to monitor his growth, Aww. Sauron was the... Sauron was the no, Balrog. <laughs> He's very That's, sensitive about it, too. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, let's see. Can we convert overlords without fighting them? Ask low kick. Convert. So you have to break down an overlord first. Yes. Because it's like a normal orc. Yep. So I think actually the answer is no to what you're asking, but uh, you can dominate an overlord. Like as, as Ellie showed, she had the option to recruit, shame, or fight to the death, and we just chose to kill the guy so we get the cool blade. 
statue there. Did you want to just uh, maybe uh, uh, unlock the, another skill so you can get rid of that creature? So here Wow. Is that a singer? Oh, it's a. Okay. If, if, if it's the singer, you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, oh never mind. No. Sorry. Right. It lied. Right. This is a pre release. This is pre release. Let me just check this guy again real quick. Oh, really? Terrified of Caragor is right. gold. Okay, all right. Is that a pirate? It's. Hey. And. We just happen to have a Caragor. Oh. Isn't, your, uh, isn't, a, isn't the bodyguard mounted as well? He is. Uh, oh, there he is! is. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Recruit we'll Snafu. together. And then he's gonna run. Oh, and then he's terrified. <laughs> oh, you know what I want to do. Actually, oh, my backside will be the last thing you see. Like, uh, oh, you want to take him over? Yeah, of course. Oh, nice. So Ellie's using the shadow dominate whenever she's doing that. That's my favorite. Right, that's a really high level skill. So shame. Oh, take him. He's got a lot of body parts. Oh, that's Strat true. Strat. But isn't he gonna run away immediately now because his character is around him? Uh, yeah, he's gonna oh. take. Him. Oh no! But I completely so agree. he's recruited. Right. He's yeah. yeah come back, whoa, but these right. guys are still here. Oh, why is the more <laughs> scared? <laughs> There's a lot going. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Oh, he's a poet. Ah. Oh, he's terrified too. And there he oh, goes. Look. It's because he's um. They're all running. They're all reaching I wonder okay. what they all were scared of. Get this guy on your side. Oh. I think it's the war chief being killed. They uh, decided that was a good time to break and run. We oh, can fight another day. I can see that. No. Oh, oh. Hey. Let's see. Not sure if you already answered answer this, but can you make everyone on your side except the leader? Laser game, you can make all the war chiefs and captains on your side except the overlord. Yeah. And except some that some are unbreakable. And some have iron will, right. which means they're uh, never going to work for you. Right, right. Oh, you did bail oh. fire! Oh man. That Karagor is going to move up through the army. Oh, let him kill you! Let him kill you! Oh, okay. Oh, except that one gets promoted. Oh, the Karagor gets promoted. He becomes the overlord <laughs> of the Legion. <laughs> oh man. Rawr. That would honestly be one of my favorite <laughs> features to one day do for like an April uh, 1st. It thing. was there, it was there. Oh, so now, oh, the time serpent. moves forward. Right. These guys get to level up. Did he just fall off? He oh, did! He did. Oh. oh man. <laughs> That's sad. I got died. But, the good thing, if uh, we have the time to go back and conquer the fortress, huh? is it's now going to be easier because one of the war chiefs we took has out, been yeah. eliminated, as well as removing all of those bodyguards that he right. had from the defense awesome. as well. We have three minutes. Do you want to just charge and go for it? Oh. Go, Ellie, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, technically, we had a break in the middle of it to let Andy out. <laughs> and then, so, uh, and then, and then, also during that, there was a couple times we had to stop for the vote. Right, so, um, go, 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 and uh, do Sappers, uh, do the yeah. Drake or War Grab this time. Savages! This is this is full. Everybody in chat, chant, go. People say the more you chat, the faster it will happen. I swear. The best form of attack is defense, but really, the best form of attack is definitely <laughs> attack. I mean, in, <laughs> technically, that's my nice personal. Yeah. There's just there you go. In go, go. <laughs> we got lots of goes go, in chat. Go, go. Perfect. Oh. Tell you, walk faster. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be sick. I love the machine. It's a good looking one. It's like the cover of Pink Floyd's Animals. I haven't seen that cover. It's the Battersea Power Station. Oh, that's awesome. You call uh, that an army? Don't make me laugh! That's a bummer. You couldn't take over a privy! It's much okay. Much less this fork! Okay. Bugs are not okay! Sorry, Lord! She don't talk over him! I'm talking over him. He's saying the same thing the other guy here. The fattest is in this fork! Okay. okay. Bug. Huh. He's saying something the different. The but the thing is, in the game, by the time you've reached Soon this point, you right, it would have been because you'd built Soon up a particular story, you right. had a statement of the story, then. and he would be able to speak to those things. Very true. We are eager and ready, right, Lord. Remember this! 
Machines tend to break down when you're jamming an ox head in between their gears. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's a great that's comment. Awesome. So, I mean, one of the things about this is this is a, you know, pre, like, we're in alpha still, or pre-release kind of thing, so it's like, this is what we have. You guys get to see some of the development. That was dope. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I love that line. It's like, channel heads, no, it works head in that. There's our oh, ground. There he yes. goes. Oh, there we go. I'm on him. He doesn't want you He's on him yet. That. He's attacking that wolf. He's bashing the wolf. Do you think that that's why he can actually breach that wall as well, potentially? Oh yeah, but now you're gonna just climb over. He's been trained to break walls, but no. Yeah, I think he's gotta break the wall. Really? Oh, he doesn't let you. Yeah. Busy. He had. Uh, oh, there we go. Not too busy. Woo! Look at that sap. Oh, sap has blew the gate as well. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. That's the way. Oh, oh, so we can see. Look, the guys are here that. Points already half captured, so right. taking that time to break it down, take out the war chiefs ahead of time, assassinate it, even infiltrate spies, um, can just make a huge difference. Oh, that's awesome. Go, go, capture, 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 so let's see, so official time wise, um, let's see that. Okay, I know the official time wise still. So. Alright, we might not have time for the Overlord fight. We'll probably get into the right. points. Oh, oh I love it when always you speed things up, yep. And so, Balefire is the combination, it combines all the uh, effects of poison and right. fire. So, if you've got a poison barrel and incinerate it, you get the Balefire. Oh, man. Go, go! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! You this sport will stand against you. Save the talk for after the slaughter! <laughs> <laughs> She's already oh, broken! He wants to join your army. There you go. Crook crook. Fly, you fools! Thanks, pizza guy. This is how you yeah. speed run a fort. Oh, this guy, oh, oh, this guy is ready to go. Again. Quickly. Yeah, it just really shows the difference of taking out that war chief ahead of time. Yeah, that made a huge difference. Oh, yeah, so fast. I mean, and, then and of course, it can go totally the other way. If you haven't prepared, not bring you guys, and there's six enemies, they can just be astronomically challenging as well. Oh, absolutely. How do you fail an assault? Or are you dying or also other failure states? It's, to? it's dying. Yep. It's dying. So, I, theoretically, you could capture this assault on your own, but um, it's just going to be incredibly difficult to be able to occupy and take the various victory points and right. clear out the enemies. It makes an enormous difference having your uh, followers. Well, absolutely. And plus, dying is not an uncommon occurrence. No, it's, it's pretty common. Will you be able to see overlords or war chiefs in the? Oh. Did you really think I'd leave you be and let you run amok? Gonna chop you into pieces, then find a use for each one. Oh, I hate waste. I don't want to hear you lot yabbering on. I want to hear this mad fool screaming. Jeez. Uh, man, that guy is awesome. Yeah, they're tricksters. Oh, but did you see? Taking him out. Close, Alec. Uh oh. Oh no. Die, die or live. Oh, live. Live. <laughs> That's the the machine chain, so they can actually use that. Oh no. Ancient one. Oh. oh. Okay, you can capture this point too. Yes. Ooh, you got it. Well <laughs> done. Good job. Uh, thank you. Go, thank quick. You. <laughs> go, 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 okay. quick. Over there. Right. Oh, look at this guy, though. Sure, make oh, it. Look, he surrendered. This guy surrendered. He's broken. Yeah. High five him in the face. I gotta get him. Just pick out the maggots. You, well, you also dominate every single maggot. Uh, he's not quite up. He doesn't, he doesn't look good. He's not gonna fit. Yeah, get it. I love the, the discussion about it, but we do have under five minutes. Go, 
go, go. All right, we have. So everybody, just start telling us. Do you want us to kill Overlord? Do you want us to? Uh, and I'm not going to set up a vote thing because it's going to take too long. Kill? Do we shame the Overlord? Do we dominate the Overlord? Can you lose a fortress after you capture one? Yes, you can. There you go. And then, of course, your goal becomes to recapture it and get vengeance on the bastard who took it from you. Oh, we didn't even look at this guy's. Uh, Good luck. <laughs> you should do it right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll check. Well, Actually. You've made a mess out there. You can identify him now. I don't think you appreciate how much work I do. Putting together fort defenses, getting my boys trained up. It's stressful for you, no overlook. <laughs> don't fret. After today, your worries will be over. Wow. <laughs> That's a good, good comeback. I'm liking the comeback. He, he really he goes home each <laughs> yeah. day. He has them all listed out. They're all ready. He looks ready. in the mirror. He looks yeah. in the mirror. Watches a bunch of old 007 films. Yeah, yeah. Actually, if you do, for chance, die here, we get to show the uh, unfinished business, which is up here as well. Oh, man. So, do you want to check out what his uh, inabilities are? Or things we can find out on the fly, Jared. Oh, okay. Here we go, on the fly. Don't forget oh. your bodyguard. Oh, do I have one? Yeah. You might have to hit it one more time, though. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, there oh, there's one. one. All right, oh, there, there is. There's the yeah. bodyguard. Help us, bodyguard. You're our only hope. Yeah, okay, this is a little tough. Uh, <laughs> Find the oh, feast fodder. Okay. Bring Karagor. Brutality. So brutality, brutal attacks are like brutal stealth kills. Or if you get your might bar and you charge it up to a level two, they'll do particularly vicious executions that don't just kill the guy you're fighting, right. but also terrify. Everybody. <coughs> oh, and smells. There you go. Oh, oh, he's oh, yeah, no. oh, oh, what the heck? Yeah, I thought he was, that, no. he was beast fodder. He's, he was beast fodder. <laughs> uh, well, no, your, uh, your bodyguard's also dead. Oh, what? No, the what? Again? Yeah. Guys. Oh, the character oh, is still around. Guys. Oh, we can give you a shot. No. Oh. Get away. Save. Oh, man. It's your lucky day. Oh, oh. oh. Holy crap. <laughs> What, but he's not terrified retreating. No, no, no. He's just, he's just like, he's just like, he's just like, I'm tired of this. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's, he's hiding. hiding there. It's oh, no! Uh, hey, we'll, we'll die. We'll die? There we go. Okay. But not oh. just here, Gord. Come on. Uh, you you want to make someone new? I love how we can see let's someone get Yeah, let's. It's here. Caragor was obviously. Come on. There we go. There it is. Olog. Now we're gonna let the Olog take you out. Oh. Man tries to build a fort. Man dies. No surprise. <laughs> He's a he poet. He rhymed. Yeah. Uh, okay. So technically, it is now. We just hit our time. So that's not too terrible, actually. We got pretty close. We can also see how it progressed. So when we were talking about the bars above the heads of it, all the orcs out in the army screen, this is what they do when those bars go down. They continue and move forward with their attacks and things. Resolve their mission. So the thing is now, because Ellie uh, had made it all the way through the fort assault and right. made it to the Overlord, there is now a mission which is unfinished business. So you mm -hmm. don't actually have to fight your way back through the entire fortress right. at this point. You can go directly and face the Overlord again. Mm -hmm. But if time passes again, then new war chiefs are going to be promoted and filled right. in, and you will, in fact, need to assault the fort. But um, if you go straight back at it, you can have another chance to, to take down the Overlord. But not today. Nope. Not today. It's, uh, do you want to have a, the Overlord talk, but then do the ultimate tease, and then we'll stop it after the Overlord's talking, just so they can hear what the Overlord says. All right, yeah, because he is going to be proud of himself. Right, or, uh, he's going to have a, a comment to say. Yeah. And then, uh, so you guys can see how it works when you just go straight back up to the Overlord. And, um... A little dark. It's in Katie's electricity bill. <laughs> Why are you back? I already defeated you once. 
Are you a slow learner or something? Oh, I love it. He is the thinker. All right, so uh, once uh, we have the chance, we'll hit start and um, give you guys the uh, the ultimate tease because we have, we're supposed to stop. Yep. So That's it. leave it there until next leave time. It there until next time. Shadow of War is an epic third-person open-world action RPG and the sequel to the award-winning Shadow of Mordor. This walkthrough takes place many hours into the game, where we will show you one example of the epic personal stories created through the next generation of the revolutionary Nemesis system. To save Middle-earth, we will be journeying deep behind enemy lines and using the new Ring of Power to forge an army and conquer Mordor from within. On the world map, we see the many regions we can conquer. Every one of these regions is a distinct environment with unique enemies and allies, including overlords, war chiefs, captains, followers, fortresses, strongholds, missions, and more. Today, we're going to attack and conquer the mountain valley of Saragost and take it from Sauron's overlord, Ur-Hakon, the Dragon Lord. Let's launch the assault. It's not only our enemies and the world that make the Nemesis system unique. It's also our followers. Rag Dug the Iron Mount has armored cavalry that can charge through the flames of artillery fire. The Demolisher is a living battering ram with the power to smash enemy defenses. With our followers at our side, we must first face the Stormbringer. The Bright Lord. I fought for you, bled for you, and you left me to die. But I was reborn with the power of the Dark Lord. He has a history and personal grudge against us. He used to be part of our army before he betrayed us and joined the Dark Lord. He also carries a dark curse which prevents us from using the power of the new ring. Come, charge into the flames of your reckoning. The Overlord has deployed multiple fort defenses, including siege beasts and flame archers. No more talk. We bring war.
first objective will be to break through the main gate. Stormbringer defeated, we've broken the curse and can unleash our power as the Demolisher breaches the gate, allowing our army to storm the fort. many ways to conquer a fort, from open combat to stealth and infiltration. We've infiltrated a spy within the enemy ranks. Deadeye has placed explosives, allowing us to sabotage the wall and outflank the defenders. also able to help clear the way by sniping enemies. In Shadow of Mordor, the Nemesis system created memorable stories of bloodshed and revenge. In Shadow of War, your followers can create entirely new stories of loyalty, betrayal, rivalry, and even friendship. Thanks, Deadeye. Nice shot. We've expanded the RPG systems in Shadow of War enormously. Defeating Stormbringer allows us to collect this epic armor of Rohan and equip it. Stolen my tail! 
<laughs> it's time to dance! <laughs> Mounting armored cavalry allows us to ride through these flames unharmed. Releasing and dominating the Drake lets us turn the Overlord's defenses against him. Terrified the flame of war, now bend him to your will. The ring of power allows us to dominate the minds of our enemies, I am compelling them to join our growing army. Now, with the power of the new ring and the help of our followers, we've defeated the war chiefs. we can face our ultimate nemesis in this fort, the Dragon Lord himself. It is time to take what is ours. With the nemesis system, every overlord faced by every player will be unique to their world, and the throne room itself has been customized by the overlord as his personal combat arena. <laughs> it's the Lord of Mordor himself. The Grave Walker. You've made a right mess, haven't you? My army slain. My Drake dead. So much pain. Well, I know a thing or two about pain. And you're it's going to burn a hole into this world.
Overlord defeated, Fort Saragost and this region of Mordor are ours. Conquering the region rewards us with experience, loot, new followers, and resources. It also creates a personal base from which we train our forces, increase our power, and upgrade our defenses against Sauron's counterattacks. Let's return to the army screen, where we can review our enemies and command our followers. We need to select one to become the new overlord, so he can spread his influence throughout the region creating an entirely original nemesis fortress. This war chief is a necromancer. He will shroud the fort in sorcery to confuse and terrify attackers. This war chief is a beastmaster. He will allow us to turn the creatures of Mordor against our enemies. But we're going to promote Rag Dug, the war chief who charged through that artillery assault and helped us bring down Ord Hakon, the dragon lord. As a marauder, he can loot and pillage the region for us. With our new overlord in place, we can upgrade the fortress, increasing its defenses and enlarging the size and power of our army. Brothers. The Nemesis system means that every element of this mission was dynamic and unique. No two players of the game will experience the same story. We will spread his power! This was just one step in our conquest of Mordor. One small example of the millions of unique stories players will create in Middle-earth Shadow of War.